I noticed graffiti was, uh, I was seven, so that was 1977. Okay. And I was in the Bronx, in the North Bronx at that time. You know, obviously growing up with my mom, so. And when, and when I started painting graffiti, uh, I started actually being a part of that community in 1983 when I started uh, actually going out and with my friends and tagging around the block. That's how everyone started back then. You know, you picked a name for yourself and um, you went out and you tried it, you know, um, in the neighborhood first. And uh, then a year later, I actually physically started painting trains with some guys. A guy that was older than me took me to paint my first train. And his, his tag was Michelob. Yeah. Influences. I have tons of influences. Um, in those early days, as, uh, as far as when I was just watching the subways and I wasn't a practitioner at that time, I was looking at like uh, guys that was a lot older, um, or they seemed a lot older at that time. Like this one guy, Blade, um, he, he's a prolific graffiti writer. Even back then, um, there was guys like Min, RTW, uh, just trying to recall those names. Uh, I love the work of a guy named Spin because uh, his work was, uh, you know, even though it, it, it still had that um, urban feel, as people would say, that graffiti-esque, right? Um, you could read it. So you could read it. Like, he, he did a lot of pieces on the train. You could read it, and he did, like, a nice character next to it. And uh, it was very readable. It was easy for me to understand because I didn't really know what was going on. Um, and then there was just a lot of other people who just just really were getting their name up. Um, a big influence back then is a guy named Rolio, and he was actually from my neighborhood in the North Bronx, um, a neighborhood called Allerton Avenue, which was a, a really mixed neighborhood. It was like Italian, um, uh, Puerto Rican, Jewish, you know, um, when I was growing up around that time.